Tuesday the 23rd of May, 2023. First reading. Reading from the Book of Acts. From Martyrs Paul sent for the elders of the Church of Ephesus. When they arrived he addressed these words to them. You know what my way of life has been ever since the first day I set foot among you in Asia, how I have served the Lord in all humility with all the sorrows and trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I have not hesitated to do anything that would be helpful to you. I have preached to you and instructed you both in public and in your homes, urging both Jews and Greeks to turn to God and to believe in our Lord Jesus and now you see me a prisoner already in spirit. I am on my way to Jerusalem, but have no idea what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit, in town after town, has made it clear enough that imprisonment and persecution await me. But life to me is not a thing to waste words on, provided that when I finish my race I have carried out the mission the Lord Jesus gave me, and that was to bear witness to the good news of God's grace. I now feel sure that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again, and so here, and now I swear that my conscience is clear as far as all of you are concerned, for I have without faltering put before you the whole of God's purpose. Responsorial Psalm Kingdoms of the earth sing to God You poured down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home, prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Saviour. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death. Kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I go, but I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the Book of John Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that your Son may glorify you and through the power over all mankind that you have given him. Let him give eternal life to all those you have entrusted to him. And eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth, and finished the work that you gave me to do. Now, Father, it is time for you to glorify me, with that glory I had with you, before ever the world was. I have made your name known to the men you took from the world to give me. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now at last they know, that all you have given me comes indeed from you, for I have given them the teaching you gave to me, and they have truly accepted this, that I came from you, and have believed that it was you who sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All I have is yours and all you have is mine, and in them I am glorified. I am not in the world any longer, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Gospel of the Lord <laughs>